Hello everybody. <clears throat> I thought I'd do a video tonight about the executive order that the president had to sign because some of the governors were stepping in the way of the uh, second amend first, second, and fourteenth amendment, deciding to say you don't have the right to want, go to church and assemble and worship as you so choose. But you can go to Walmart, you can go to your local liquor store, or you can go to an abortion clinic, but you can't go to church. How dare you worship? And they were saying they have more power <clears throat> than the American citizens. That they're going to use the police departments to march in like jackboot brown shirts and arrest people for going to church and worship. The president today signed an executive order on the side of the Constitution and the American people, stating that places of worship <clears throat> are essential to the continuing of the United States for the conscience and the well being of the American people. <clears throat> That's not just one denomination or another. It is all denominations in this country. So, straight across the board, he's deemed each and every one of us essential. I don't have a church of my own. I am an ordained minister. I have done Sunday services here on YouTube. But, <clears throat> yeah, I got done eating. Sorry about that. But, if I had a church, I'd be opening the doors this coming Sunday and saying, That the doors are open for worship. Then I'd step to the pulpit and say, Okay, those of you that have served in the U.S. military, those of you that keep the right to bear arms, hunters, sportsmen, target practicers. Bring your weapons to church with you. <clears throat> we have the right to stand our ground. And we'd worship. The Bible in one hand and a firearm in the other. Our children need to learn that this country was founded for the protection of all rights, not just the rights of some high and mighty political party members. Or those who wish to impose their will on the American people. I'm Baptist. If I had a church building and somebody from the Catholic faith came to worship there, they'd be welcome. 
somebody from the Mormon faith would be welcome. Jehovah Witnesses would be welcome. Lutherans would be welcome. And the list goes on. <clears throat> if even a Muslim were to come to the church and ask to be able to pray, I would not turn them away because the church is a place of worship. If a person from the Jewish faith came to the church stating, I need a place to worship because my worship hall or my worship place is still closed because they fear the government, they would be able to worship. They would be part of our family. And if the governor of that state, therefore, hypothetical, should say, oh, you're not to gather because we want you to fear us more than the bug that's going around. We would stand and protect those who were worshiping. And if the police wanted to worship, they could as well. They would be more than welcome. Anyone who stepped through that door and said, I want to worship God, would be welcome. If the National Guard stepped through that door and the officer in charge said, we came to worship, they would be welcome. Any branch of the military would be welcome to worship in that church. But I am just a YouTuber. I have no church, just the YouTube. I thank the President of the United States for signing that executive order to protect the First Amendment, which just does not cover the freedom of press, but the freedom of religion which many governors are trampling upon and saying it's for the safety of the people. The same line that the Nazis used when they started prosecuting the Jews. Oh, it's for the safety of the people that we segregate these people out. <clears throat> I had a history teacher tell me that this would never happen in this country. I told him, give them the right situation, and they'd exploit it. Here we are. That was in 1983. This is 2020. <clears throat> you figure out the math. And I did a report on Mein Kampf, Hitler's book. And I was telling him it could happen here. There are certain governors who wish it could happen here. So that they could have <clears throat> power over people, dictate to them what they can do, what they can eat, 
where they can stay, how long they can stay, what they can do as foreseeable freedoms. And you better not talk against them. Otherwise they'd prosecute you and throw you away. Or just throw you away in some prison. Not even try you. It's coming to that. I know it. In this country and in others. <clears throat> there are countries overseas who are embracing the ideals of socialism, communism, and pure hatred. And they're trying to influence this country. Now that I've given a bit of a <clears throat> well, it's not a sermon, basically a uh, speech. I'll let you decide for yourself what you think. But I thank Mr. Trump for signing that executive order to open up the churches. And he has the power to keep them open. Thank you. Have a good evening now. If you like this kind of video, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.